Good morning and welcome back to Cow Kiao. Now this hole has a different look. For the simple reason I'm playing at back tees 580 yards longer than the first time. For some bizarre reason I find it easier. It could well be because certain hazards are now out of reach for my driver and I don't have to avoid them. Four iron at the bunkers in the distance I can't reach. I really do like my four iron on this trip. I'm using it an awful lot. Flag is way at the back, so somewhere on the front of the green will do me fine. Just need to avoid the water. Caddy's name today is Pa. We can only hope that that is a good omen. But the greens are a bit slow. Yeah, Nick Noy's slow. For whatever reason this year, Cow Kiao's greens are slower than I remember. Okay. Pa. A fair bit slower. <laughs> good start. You say here, I go hard. Okay, I'll walk around. Okay. Back at Cow Kiao for my second round. I'm on my own. Now this is a course I've never broken 80 on in about seven rounds. There's something about it that I cannot beat. So we'll have a look today and see why. Now we're playing the same two nines as last time, which means it's the hard nine. The second nine is the hardest nine of the course. So you're never going to see the third nine, which is a little more friendly. This tee is slightly harder you've got to hit slightly bigger banana to get it round the corner. And even then, I'm on the left side of the fairway. Now it's downwind. I don't know why, but we've got more wind this week than I've ever known before in Thailand. I was expecting the wind to carry this ball onto the green. Yeah, Perhaps I'm just not striking it very well. A very awkward chip. If we can get this up and down, we're on our way to a good start. An odd bounce into the grain and it stopped pretty quick very easy to see why this golf course too much. seems to be difficult much. for me. Off yeah. to the third. Now we're off the proper tee box. It's no nine iron today. This bunker all the way down the right is in play. And the jungle on the right. Oh, Having paid it a visit once, I shied away a bit to the left, which left me yet and ever awkward chip but you can see the jungle there it is so easy to lose a ball here going with a four or five iron and slicing it away a little bit Not bad. Well, from this tee, there's no three wood today. You can see how far in front we played the first time. So it's got to be driver back into the breeze. I'm afraid my setup is so poor, this low drive to the right with a fade is a feature of my game now. Flag is right on the front. So I'm happy to play a little short. But there's considerably more wind there than I thought. So this isn't a little short. And I really do hate Shot Tracer at the moment. It is not very good. Oh, Didn't Simon. carry that properly onto the green, so we're short again. As I say, with them being slower than normal, they're much harder to putt. 
Well, that's a very rare hole out. This hole becomes very narrow now from this back tee. You've got to hit a good one. And that's only just straight enough. Okay, fairway. And I really am not hitting my irons well. I'm missing my range sessions, I'm missing my warm ups. And I'm trying to fix things while I'm out on the golf course. Which is not the place to be fixing your swing, is it? I think one of the hardest things out here is when you go and play a Siam course, a Lam Shabang, Chi Chan, you're playing 11 and a half, then you come to a course like this that's playing eight and a half, and it's so difficult to adjust. I really wish I could show you the B9 here, because it's the best nine on the course. But we're on C, and then we're going to A, which is the nine I dislike. Let's see if I can crack it today. Playing as a single, I can take my time and I've got a better chance of cracking it. This big bunker here isn't actually in play, it's well short of the green. But what it does is it blocks your view of the green, you can't really see where the flag is. When you see that the flag is most certainly left of centre, if you could have seen how much room there was to the right of the flag, then perhaps I would have aimed differently in the fairway. And I wouldn't be staring at yet another bogey. This course just seems to pick your pockets. And there doesn't seem to be anything I can do to stop that. Bogey, okay. Par five, water. But now I'm back here, it's not in play. It's not an issue. I can play and swing confidently knowing that I can't possibly reach it. That makes a huge difference of playing back. Hazards become out of play. Going with a hybrid just going to nip over the side of the lake. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> Lucky. Of course another two issues that I mentioned was aiming incorrectly and that my right hand grip has got a little strong it's got a little under the shaft so I'm struggling to keep the face open which means my distance control now is very poor and I drag it left and long it's quite funny at the moment this nine is absolutely empty I haven't seen a soul this is how we like to play golf. Millionaire's golf, and you can go as quick as you like, which for me is usually quite quick. I'm a quick player, always have been. Now we go to the par three, and we're playing this properly now. 170, water short, water left, water right and I got a four iron but it absolutely sailed through the wind you're hitting this green from the proper tee instead of being okay. forward and only hitting a nine iron it's quite a pleasure perhaps I could have got away with a five the wind didn't seem to have stopped that at all I had a downhill down grain putt and unusually for Kao Kiao certainly unusually today it went long. Just it, just, yeah. Tum tum. And the bogeys are just racking up. No three wood today from this tee. Back into the breeze. I got a hit driver. And it is rather a small target. So out to the left to 
try and accommodate my fade. Shame I can't putt today. <laughs> Here I'm aiming left yet again. So we know what the result's going to be. For this round to get going, I'm going to need something rather special. This is the B9. We start with a dog leg to the right, and that's why I enjoy this hole. All I've got to do is aim at the bunker on the left, which I'm failing to do completely. I got onto this tee box, and we're behind a group of three complete beginners. Just a little bit right. And before I could tee tea off, another group joined. I'm guessing they started on the A and they've been stuck behind this three ball of beginners for nine holes already. That little leaf killed my shot, so I'm way short. The greens on this nine I haven't seen a mower for ages. They're even slower. So I'm gonna bogey a hole that I've never bogeyed before. That's rather annoying. Par five, slight dog leg to the left, water all the way down the left. I'm gonna try and hit a draw. And that isn't a draw. I'll tell you one thing. When you've got a camera and you're on the wrong hole, you don't half feel an idiot. At least that's something, that embarrassment that you will never feel is okay. setting up a camera when you're on the wrong hole and people staring at you. Just a sand wedge in. Had a bit of a long wait on this hole. Down the wind. And it's flown a little bit. Maybe a bit big. Downhill, down grain. Let's see if we can cozy this up to the hole. Not a great putt, but we got a par. Now we get onto the next tee, and by the time I tee off, there's three groups on the tee. The beginners in front from the white tee, they'd all hit a wood, and none of them had managed to get over the creek. Yeah, they're hitting it a hundred yards tops, and one of them, that's all he does, is top. Six iron in, well protected green. Okay. And I'd forgotten that this green runs off to the right. So my straight shot, that was just a fraction right of the flag, ended up here. Left, Simon, not right. And this tidy up, which I should have spent some time on, I spent no time at all, simply because okay. there's six Don't people go. on the tee watching me mess around with a camera. It's so annoying that slow play actually oh, makes you rush that. and ruins your score. I'm rushing Such is life. Pain. Oh, the lighting on this isn't very good. I'm the meat in the sandwich, so I've got a very slow three ball in front. They're hitting it maybe 120, 130 yards off the tee. And I've got a fast three ball behind. I've got a green keeper. So I'm just rushing, so that bogey on the par 3 is me sat in the golf cart for 15 minutes and then playing the hole in 90 seconds basically. Shame really. Great par 4 this one, love it. Out of bounds left, some mounds on the right to keep you in play if you let it out there. I've let it out there. 
What's new? Another of Pete and Dice humps in the way. You can't see the green. So I couldn't really figure out where I wanted to go. Good. Hit a damn good shot though. Shame about the putting. That's a bit better. One of the best short par fours I know. If you go left, you're going to get a bounce off the cart path and go out of bounds. There's no space. There's fairway bunkers down there. There's palm trees and horrible rough to the right. Okay. So a five wood puts me in the middle of the fairway. And to be honest, do you really want to be any closer than a pitching wedge? I've seen too many drivers in trouble here to bother doing that. And I think if these greens were up to speed today, I'd have a better chance oh. at making some putts. I feel my score would be a fair bit lower. A generous par 5, plenty of room. Yeah, it is out of bounds left. But there's some mounds over there. There's not too many palm trees down the right. It's quite a generous landing area. Ball below the feet, so I'm deliberately going to play a, the low squirter with the four iron. Although I wish I'd aimed a little further left. Yeah, I knew it was going to go right. Because this puts me in an awkward position. Always going to go right. This green slopes right to left. The grain is right to left. Coming in from down here. If you're not going to risk this horrible bunker, you're going to put it in the middle of the green and the ball is going to go left. And indeed it runs all the way off. As you can see from here, it's shiny. So it's down grain to where I am, so it runs off the green. So coming back, it's into the grain. I've just giving it a bit too much. Now I'm well aware of what my score is. I'm also well aware I've never broken 80 here. Okay. I'm under some serious pressure. Every little mistake is amplified in my brain. I know how easy it is for this round of golf to turn into 82. Hey, <laughs> Next up is the best par four I know on the planet. It requires two absolutely perfect shots to get a par. A perfect long drive and then a perfect long iron. Bit of a long wait, three groups on the tee, yet again. Just an eight iron for me. The green's quite generous, it's quite wide and it's quite big front to back. The game in front all hit woods and only two of them got over. I really wish I'd got a two for this lady. She's been so good to me today, such a good caddy and I could not adjust to the putting. Never mind. So off to the last, and I think breaking 80 is in the bag, except for there's water down the left, mounds and palm trees down the right. And if you go right, the chances of you making a par oh, are nil. Going left is a bit dodgy oh, too. Okay it's okay. Yeah, wrong way. 
Now I've been trying this, holding it full length and trying to stand properly to hit a proper full shot. But I'm standing on the stones to do that. It's only going to end in tears. So this is a down the shaft, shut face, six iron, chip and run. I can play those. Yeah, that's all I can do without falling in. Now I've had this shot before. There's a huge mound in the middle of the green. You have to play this way out to the right and let it come down. And for the second time, that only just missed. I've finished under the hole. I've broken 80. I've finally done it. Tom Cap, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> First time break 80 at Cal Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs>